Hello my shoutouts, today I'm going to be actually looking through the ultimate Coker Pepsi amazingly awesome questions to ask your friends, which is, you know, a few years after the first one. This was back in 2009, I think. I've, if you can go by copyright, then that's a long time ago. Like, you see that right there? It's a long time ago. Alright, so if you had your own band, what would you call it? I actually used to have like a like a try to have a band with my little sister and that was like a thing back in the day and we actually wrote songs and stuff like that and scheduled band meetings but it never it fell through the cracks. We we basically disbanded before we started. <laughs> oh, this band mints it brings back memories of K pop groups I loved. You know, I didn't mention sister that disbanded. Like I didn't mention my summer queens and my K pop tag. Oh I love sister, I miss them. Summer's gonna come around eventually, and then it's like we don't have their comeback anymore. Okay, I'm off topic. Anyway, um, what's the f most fun thing to pop? Popcorn, bubble wrap, or balloons? I said bubble wrap, which, yeah, that's still, that's still true. Balloons, popping balloons has always made me like, ugh, because you don't know, it's just so loud and abrasive. Something you own that would surprise friends. Currently, um, I have a lot of things, honestly, like, my well, no, I told him about my switch. I was gonna say like it was kind of expected of me as well. What did I put? A George Washington wig. I forgot I had that. I think I wore it for like a presentation or something. I did that, and it also was like a uh, rabbit from Winnie the Pooh, and my mom helped me put it together in like a yellow shirt, and then like a uh, uh, like cotton ball on the back, and make it look like bunny fur and all that stuff. But, yeah, the George Washington wig would be interesting to explain but yeah I don't have it anymore unfortunately <sighs> remember those days when I was George Washington brings back memories jeans with flip-flops flats heels or sneakers I said heels that's such a 2000s thing jeans with heels mm -mm. especially like those low pumps like that's that was a 2000s thing like early 2000s I know how to flare my nose really big that's something I'm good at I mean this Oh man, I can do a lot of different things. I can also do this with my middle finger, like, I can move it back and forth like that. I don't think people can typically do that. Um, I used to think doing this was special as well. I used to think that no one else could do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't really think I have any hidden talents, to be honest with you. Oh, I said, and stretch my lips. I could stretch my lips far, but not at the same time. Oh, I could do this. I forgot about that. I love to wear skirts. I used to really want to wear skirts because I thought it was cool and I was like repelling the color gray to wear the color gray because I was like, oh that's a lame color. Like if you wear gray pants, I'm talking about myself. I felt lame and uncool if I wore any gray pants or gray shirts. It was, it's like, if you draw like identity and value from a color, what? The coolest thing I've ever done is jump off the high dive. That was pretty cool considering I was uh, formerly afraid of water. I had to take swimming lessons to actually overcome a fear of water and swimming in general. Alright, let's just go through these rapid fire if I can because there's a lot on these two pages right here. If you were a dog, what kind would you be? Name Crystal, yes. Crystal is my favorite name and I love Crystal from Star Fox and I was so sad that she was an assist in Ultimate because I always wanted her to be playable. like. Uh, ever since people proposed that idea, I was like, yes, honey, yes, 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 please. Um, choose a secret agent name for yourself. Uh, Butterfly. Mm, um, no. Unless I'm thinking Red Butterfly, like Kana from Fruits Basket. Mouth on fire from hot sauce, ice cream, brain freeze, or neither. Neither! Oh! Well, okay, never mind. Let me rephrase that. You can actually avoid the brain freeze anyway by not letting it touch the roof of your mouth because the nerve endings and whatever. Um, and it is worth it even if you experience it, even though like the worst kind of brain freeze is actually not here, it's in your chest. When you have it in your chest, you just start to wonder if you have any time left, you know? <laughs> um, would you eat m ms one at a time or by the handful? Who eats it one at a time? Maybe if you are like used to like Japanese culture or something where they eat chop with chopsticks with like even rice so you can eat smaller portions so you'd probably like eat one at a time or maybe if you're concerned about eating too quickly so uh, okay okay but I wouldn't I would not ever complete a puzzle yeah what puzzle maybe an online puzzle yeah the easier ones um I don't I think 
it takes special skill to do the 1500 puzzles and whatever like that's that's too much that's, that's too much um i will say i think i've won a game of brain warp before if you've never heard of brain warp you know how big of an accomplishment that is so if you can that counts as a puzzle right i wish i could be paid to breathe don't we all i, I think it would throw the economy out of balance but that's not my business <laughs> how many I'm just kidding, it is how many teeth do you have 36 I forgot how many teeth you're supposed to have as an adult I don't even know the uh, like the exact number I think 36 is too much I don't I don't think I knew what I was doing <laughs> especially since I've had a permanent tooth removed and also four baby teeth all in the same time and actually want to do a story time on how that process worked with the laughing gas it was it was such a weird time I want to give story times to all my anesthesia laughing gas experiences because I think it would be really interesting. Ever been sent to the principal's office? Yes, for scratching someone. What? I got in trouble for stuff later on in high school. Like, I got sent to the principal's office for cutting class. And that was when I was going through a really tough time. I was in ninth grade before I switched to online school for the last three years of high school. So that's another thing I want to get into another time. But yeah, I was skipping class so much that I got called down like twice. Yeah. Something guys love that you just don't get burgers. Excuse me? How would I not get their love of burgers? How many burgers do I consume? Honey, I just had two burgers today. Like, that I made on the stove and yesterday. Like, it, mm. Coolest thing you've ever made by hand? A pot holder. Yeah, that was so cool. I used to like, I remember specifically playing My Sims Kingdom. And like, I don't know, it was weird. At the same time, we just got our new TV, the our, our Vizio at the time. It was our first last screen and... I remember distinctly like working on a pot holder while my little sister was playing My Sims Kingdom or something. Singer whose songs you own the most of Reliant K. That was at the time. I mean, I do have all their albums, so that is a lot of songs. But then again, Ariana also has a lot of songs on other people, so I, like I don't know if they're the most. Especially if you look at like how many songs they have by genre, then you can probably see. Concert, you like a backstage pass for Demi Lovato. Oh, I love Demi. Um, celebrity crush you have none. Actually, at the time, it was like Jake Ryan. Ultimate road game, I spy. How about Game Boy games? That was the ultimate road game, road trip game for me. <laughs> iron your clothes in the AM? No. My dad had to iron my military, or my JRTC uniform because I could not iron a wink or a wrinkle. I would love to start opposite, or did I say Jake Ryan? I meant Cody Lindley for the crush, by the way. I would love to start opposite Zac Efron in a movie. I love Zach. He's still gorgeous. And this while he's 30 now. He's 30. Wow. Our Troy Bolton. I know he's I see him in other roles like Hairspray. And I've seen him in in uh The Greatest Showman. But he's still that he's still Troy Bolton to me, okay. It would be so cool to go start with Ashley Tisdale in a movie. Yeah, I love Ashley too as well. Like I always love Ashley from Sweet Life to High School Musical to like all the like a lot of the plethora of movies she's been in, her music, like, honey. Oof. Best movie I've seen this year is Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. That was way back when. Way back when. It was actually a really good movie. Um, didn't really care for the other ones, the sequels following, but it was a really great movie. The best movie I've seen this year hasn't happened yet because it's still only February. Um, but I, I assume it'll be Captain Marvel or it'll be Avengers Endgame as the best movie even Frozen 2 is looking decent, even though I didn't like the first one. It's actually looking really good. Um, for the best movie last year, that's a tough thing to say between Incredibles 2 and Avengers. And Black Panther. Like, that's a three-way tie for me. Do you like black and white movies? I said no. Oh, that's before I watched Little Women. I didn't know what I was saying yet. Okay, I didn't know. Ever watch a film with subtitles? Oui. I watch anime a lot. Um... I watch movies with subtitles, though, regardless, because it's easier to understand what they're saying. If you had a band, I would call it Kim Stars. <laughs> I would call it something a little harder than that, like a little bit more gritty than that, if I ever had a band. What's your screensaver? Sunset. I love sunsets. That, that's cute. They're so picturesque that I just love sunsets. I love the colors. Ultimate romantic movie. I didn't actually watch any at the time. I've only watched, like, okay, I watch a lot of romance movies. But not like some of the more popular ones like uh, Dear John or The Notebook. I watched A Walk to Remember. I watched The Last Song. I really, really love The Last Song like so stinking much that 
I watch it multiple times. Like, seriously. Miley and Liam. Uh, I love that movie so much. It's just so much fun. It's so sad, though. I'm like, ah. That's the part that's, like, it's hard about those movies is that they're so sad. They have sad moments in them. Grown sea monkeys. No. I oh, my gosh. I miss sea monkeys. <laughs> I love sea monkeys. Oh. They're so much fun because you can see, it's like weird, but it's fun. They feel so slimy, don't they? Like, I remember seeing them grow. I remember Gak. I remember we would make Gak in class. Wow. Do you guys remember those popper things also? Like, you push down on them, and then they, like, spring back up on you and they'll smack you in, the, like, the arm. It was really cool. <laughs> oh, man. Can you tie a knot in a cherry stem with your tongue? No. But I've seen it on Drake and Josh, so I, like, I first saw it. And it was like a sign of your good Cathar, but like, we don't, we don't go by that. That's a myth. What are your top three favorite bands? Reliant K, Jonas Brothers, and Three Doors Down. I don't know Three Doors Down. I don't listen to like one of their songs, but I would say Reliant K, Flyleaf, and Skillet. What are your top five favorite songs? Push it to the limit. Yeah, push it, push it to the limit, limit. Cause we're in it to win it, in it to win it. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Um, perfect to dance to. I said send it, send it on is the song to dance to. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you could break it down to send it on from Miley Cyrus, Selena Gomez, Jonas Brothers, and Demi Lovato. Like, you could you could totally dance to that. It's great to sing with Did You Forget. <laughs> My favorite part of the song is the bridge. Like, I love it when the electric guitar kicks in and then her voice, like, grows even more powerful. Oh, I love Did You Forget. It's Demi Lovato song, by the way. Has the coolest lyrics, La La Land. Aww. Not the musical, I'm talking about La La Land, Demi Lovato. Yeah, this is when I was a teeny bopper, as they would say. This is 2009. Okay, keep this in mind. This is like 2009, guys, so this is when this is all going down. So obviously, I really appreciate deep lyricism. I like songs like Halsey songs because of the lyrics. Even Melanie's euphemisms and stuff like that like I really appreciate lyricism to the point that I look for it and seek it out so I would say this answer's changed but I love that song too coolest lyrics from a song a word's just a word so you mean what you say why am I getting a flashback of the Disney Channel games why <laughs> are you good at imitating people I said sort of um I feel like I've been working on different things like uh Blackfire from Teen Titans Toad from Mario, of course, and Peach from Mario. Because I've heard Peach's voice so many singing times. Oh, and RTD2 Scream. I've heard Peach's voice so many times because I played her like in every single Mario game growing up that I know her voice very, very well. So I've imitated her. I don't know if I have it down. I might test it out one day to see if you guys can, if you guys think it's accurate. But I've been hearing her voice for a while. That sounds weird. I've been hearing Peach's voice for a while. <laughs> yeah. Name a favorite stuffed animal when you were a kid. Princess, cat, yes. I don't have my stuffed animals anymore. I give them to Goodwill. Most of them. And I miss my stuffed animals. <laughs> Ultimate cure for hiccups. I said hanging upside down. Actually, the best cure, which I learned from Family Matters, is just to drink water without stopping, and then it goes away. Like, it works every time for me. Good at solving mysteries in movies. Does watching Clue... And... Yeah, well... No, I don't think I am, because Case Closed, I know it's not a movie, it's a show. Um, I did watch the Clue movie, but the Case Closed show, I almost never got the culprit right and the, and the motive behind it, so I don't know. Ultimate movie soundtrack, a beat? That's not a soundtrack, honey. Uh, I would say The Prince of Egypt, Joseph King of Dreams, Incredibles 1 and 2, those are like my top favorite scores. I love the sound of music as well, and The Greatest Showman, so yeah, those are honorable mentions. And Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah. Ever been on YouTube? No. Oh, wow. Wow, this is meta. It's very meta, if that makes sense. Ultimate adventure with a friend. I said going around the world, and that's because I want to go around the world in 80 days. Like the movie, like the book, yes. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed me looking over this, like, old, I think it's 10 years this year. So, this 10 year throwback <laughs> into my life back in 2009 when I was 11 years old and I will see you all next time. Bye guys and smiles all around.